Hello everyone, uh, it's Prat from Ratko Tarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below and as well um, as tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me uh, there are eight tarot classes available at the website as well currently for the upcoming week uh, the tarot class for the major arcana is going to be on a flash sale reduced cost with a 30 percent uh, dropping it from 150 to a hundred and ten dollars so if you are interested into that message me on my facebook page and i'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so we do have a taurus sun taurus moon and as well taurus rising on our hands here and the first thing that we are going to have a look at for you guys that is to be your love and relationship just let me shuffle the cards and we're gonna jump right into it so uh the reading is gonna show tendencies uh aspects and as well potentials if you don't like to unfold them by all means just go and do whatever you see fit for yourself and your life so that being said uh the first card that we're gonna have for you in terms of a love and relationship that is to be the king of pentacles now moving next uh we have the five of wands followed by uh, the page of wands and the last one here uh, that will be the tree of pentacles wow um it's quite of a uh, it's quite of a difficult one okay um so unfortunately i'll have to break it down instead of coming up with a uh with a coherent message because that's uh that's the nature of the impromptu reading sometimes you do need time uh, if you don't have it that that is if you don't have a question okay because the cards may interpret in many many different ways and as a tarot reader i may not see the uh the connection straight away so i have to pretty much break them down so breaking them down first one that we do have that is to be the uh king of pentacles and that card reflects the uh general topic of the week that you're gonna have you know the experience that's um you have to undergo through if you do decide so and the king of pentacles it's uh first and foremost for those that are already within a relationship does encouraging you to stay there and to try to you know make it simply better because the king of pentacles it is like the guardian of one's domain and your domain is your um is your current relationship current interaction your current person of interest etc etc and you gotta stick with it because according to the card you can definitely improve it in a large margin uh how the king of pentacles does improve stuff around well he does improve stuff around through investing but that investment is not a charity now it's very important that to be remembered you do investing and you have to get something in return if that thing in return doesn't happen well then you have to walk away okay but you can take the king of pentacles also as a test is your relationship you know uh or your interaction a thing that it is willing to give to you just as much as you're willing to give to it as well okay but that could be also true in a vice versa variant of the reading where you are being given and now the other person waits from you to you to receive it and pretty much to give back and if you don't do it well, then they are going to walk away so you have to be very careful if you do see that somebody is kind of giving you a an attention like you do have someone of interest and they call you for going out with them or a cup of coffee and you decide to play hard to get and you say no you know i do have a uh, a, a work right now or you are or i already have a scheduled meeting and so on and so forth they ain't gonna ask twice so you gotta be careful about how you do approach your uh, your interactions having the uh, five of wands into the second position pretty much kind of speaks that it is a, a definitive um, 
unfoldment which means that if you do mess it around you ain't gonna have a second chance in it but if you do make it well then it will be pretty pretty uh pretty pretty stable okay so you do have your faith within your hands in terms of love and relationship having the uh, page of wants into the third one now that's a uh, that's an individual and for better or worse that individual it's not a suitor by any means it is just you know somebody who I, it's kind of carefree that it is a jumping around you or scampering around you and it is someone who keeps up your positive attitude that even if you do mess it around you know that's not the end of the world it's just there will be always a another one that is going to come into the future and beside all that that you are not gonna necessarily have a, a bad life if you do end up alone okay because life is dappled with many different or happiness in life is dappled with many different gazes and um, it comes in many many different forms and even though you may not have the happiness of love you may have the happiness of a something else so just by those three i can conclude that regardless of how the things are gonna move forward with you in terms of a love and relationship taurus a you are not going to end up miserable throughout the week itself i mean you're not going to self-pity yourself you ain't going to have a heartache even if you end up uh, with a broken heart that person here the page of wands should revitalize it uh, very very quickly and uh, by the end we do have the tree of pentacles which is pretty much a uh, a baffling card to be honest because it does point out by the end of the week you are going to start seriously talk with somebody now seriously talk with somebody i mean you can start talking with a a new guy okay that is showing an interest to you and you want to get to know them better uh, you may start talking with your current uh, partner in life just to work the things around you know into uh, your current relationship but again whatever it is in terms of uh, relationship and love for you Taurus uh, that week it's all about a giving and taking and when, when you do invest and you don't get you don't get anything back well then it's time for you to move on you ain't gonna get any better or any redder flag than uh, this one and also if someone does invest and you do want to be with them make sure you do respond so uh, that was uh, in terms of your love and relationship and now let's have a look what your career has to um, has in store to be honest I do hate breaking down readings um, it's just just that that's just for the record it's it's not my thing i prefer to have a um a question given this is how i do work and uh when you do have a question given the card just you know the message just pops up for me i don't know well let's uh let's have a look what uh your career uh aspect has in store for you for the week so the first card here uh, that you do start with is going to be the uh, Queen of Wands followed by the Two of Wands uh, moving next uh, that is to be the Seven of Wands and then we do have the Seven of Pentacles so pretty much a typical career reading and um, the reading itself it's a confirmation that you are sitting on a, uh, a well-established uh, if you will achievements I mean you are gonna find yourself at the start of the week at a pretty good spot there uh, the thing with the king with the queen of wands into the first position it is that many people may come to you for guidance and advice or they may be quite dependent of your performance and of your um uh, in generally decision making that is because uh, many around you for the enterprise that the business you are working for is tackling with right now sees you as a person who does have a, a acute business sense for it more than anybody else around so they may uh, like under day i mean your supervisor even your boss in some cases you know and your colleagues may come to you for guidance or may wait for you to make the uh the decision here so that will 
puts a little bit of a stress now we can see that within the uh, seven of wands and also the two of wands now the two of wands into the second position here in this particular narrative at this point that you may bend under the pressure of so much responsibility you know that even if that responsibility isn't yours to bear you may find yourself undertaking it and bearing it anyway like for example your supervisor has to make the decision but they're asking you to make that decision for them uh, it's it's not a good place to be but if you are a decisive person i'm sure that you are gonna find a, a way through uh, having the uh, the rest of the cards here, it does look like that you are going to be rather very careful how you do approach your situations. Um, if you are new to job, I don't see you making any friends nor ne nor enemies throughout these couple of uh, throughout this week uh, and even couple of weeks, if you will. Uh, for the reason being is that uh, how can I say that. Uh, Above everything else, you are going to be allied with yourself. I mean, you are not going to sympathize to anybody's agenda, but you are not going to exclude as well anybody's agenda also. And, um, well, I don't know how to say it. It will be where you do position yourself and you are ready to receive every, literally everything good or bad from everybody that it is uh, that it is around and that is pretty much going to solidify you quite strongly into the place that you are uh, working at right now. And the week, uh, the working week pretty much ends where you uh, are going to take a deserved, well-deserved break. And uh, also you are going to reflect on some uh, activities that had happened and how you can use them the best into your advantage moving forward uh, within uh, the future of your uh, current career. Now, those that are uh, jobless uh, for what it seems, um, a skill of theirs, it will be highly in demand, okay? Uh, but... It doesn't look like the, the conditions that the job uh, they are going to be called for, it will be something they would like and it will appeal to them. And for them, the week ends where that spot will be open for them, but they will have a serious, serious doubts should they go for it or not. Unfortunately, the reading does not give you the answer for it. You have to make it so or you have to decide in so that you do not feel that you are over committing, giving more than you are taking. OK, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like you got to feel comfortable of making that choice. You should not make the choice based on emotions, nor because you are oppressed at this current moment. So that being said, Taurus, this was your a weekly general tarot reading in terms of love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And um, that being said, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.